Whatever in life that you are trying to do, you are the master of your life. So just do it, guys. Hey guys, how you doing? It's your girl Abia here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. I'm actually recording this video on Thanksgiving Day for you guys. The topic that I wanted to discuss with you guys, and you know me, I write everything down, is basically the look back on my 2023 and what I am trying to accomplish in 2024. This is the time where people kind of really start to think about like their New Year's resolutions and things that they're trying to just do. So there has been so many changes for me in 2023 and we're still in 2023 right now. We still got a couple of more weeks, but there's been so many changes in my life from 2022 to 2023. And I feel there's going to be even more changes in 2024. And I just wanted to have the opportunity to basically sit down with you guys and share with you my experiences in 2023. Now, if you have been watching my channel, you know that for 2022 and 2023, I had put out a vision board and things that I wanted to accomplish. So I just really want to take you on this journey with me, just showing you how that whatever you pretty much put your, your mind to, like the saying goes, you can accomplish. It's just that you have to see that it's attainable. You have to do the necessary steps in order to you know, reach that goal or that accomplishment, whatever you may want to call it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get into all the things that happened in 2023 and then we'll get into 2024 and we're going to talk, you know, more about that, you know, a little bit later in the video. So I want to just start off with this year, I was like, I'm looking at my standards. I am looking at all the things that if it's not meeting my criteria, I'm not doing it. And it's very important that you do have standards because it's like, if you don't, then you're just going to accept any old thing. I know for me going into 2022 to 2023, I did not want to accept any old thing and or do any old thing. Like, I wanted to do what Abia wanted to do. All the goals that I wanted for myself, as I mentioned in the intro of this video, I was like, 2023 is going to be the year that I am going to do those things. So one of the next items that was on my vision board, and this kind of encompasses everything on my vision board, is allowing myself to be vulnerable. Um, you guys have seen me post like recently, I post two uh, story time videos and just basically going through the, I can't say trials and tribulations, but really showing who it be it is. Not being so concerned about what people may think about me or the what they may think about me in decisions that I have made. Um, as I, you know, mentioned in my videos, my story time videos, I'm telling these stories so that people will be able to learn from a woman who has been through it or a human just who has been through this so that if they're in a situation like that, they could be able to make the right decisions. So for me, I was like, I was so apprehensive on being vulnerable and not just with you guys, just in general just in my day-to-day -day life of allowing myself to be open because I, my thoughts is like, I've been hurt so much in my past that vulnerability can sometimes leave you open to people just treating you any way that they want to treat you and causing you pain. And for me, I was just tired of 
allowing myself to be hurt by others. So I was just like, you know what? I'm only going to let in certain things and other things I'm not going to let in. And I could say, unfortunately, that mindset, even though it is understandable in regards to protecting yourself, like who doesn't want to protect yourself? But at the same time, I was closing off different chapters and different experiences in my life because I was afraid to be vulnerable. So in this year, I was like, you know what? I'm going to post more on my YouTube channel. I am going to have more conversations, uh, open up with my therapist. I'm going to have more conversations with my husband. At the end of the day, I know that that vulnerability is going to allow for me to be a better person. It's going to allow for me to grow. So one of the next things I wanted to talk about is not listening to the outside noise and doing what brings um, me joy. So the thing is that I've always been concerned about not, well, I can say, oh, no, a lot, <laughs> I guess that would be the word of what people may think about me or what people may say about me or me wanting to do a certain thing and then I'm like, oh gosh, this person is feels some type of way about it or they're looking at me some certain type of way. Like for instance, I have a septum ring. So you guys can see it right here. I got this septum ring pierced quite a long time ago. I want to say I was still living back in Brooklyn at this time and I was apprehensive of showing my septum ring. One to you guys because you know YouTube and social media can be a little bit shaky and then also going to work and what they may think but at the end of the day I was like me showing my septum ring, me um, showcasing what I find is beautiful is okay. You know, like, this is what brings me joy. It brings me joy to have my septum ring. It brings me joy, even though I don't have any earrings right now, I have an earring right up here. It brings me joy about my piercings. It brings me joy when I dress a certain way or I put on makeup or um, I, whatever it may be, those things bring me joy. So therefore I'm going to continue to do the things that bring me joy. And that also affected my personal life as well too, where I just wanted to just be like, okay, I want to go out and do X, Y, and Z, or I want to take a walk, or I want to try this activity or, you know, not being so, oh gosh, allowing the noise and oh because somebody says something to deviate me to another direction you know what i mean like it's very important that for one you do what makes you happy you know at the end of the day this is your life and everybody has their own journey so therefore it's like allow yourself to do the things that you want to do and don't live your journey for somebody else or what somebody else things that you should do. You know, it's just not realistic. And I also at the same time feel at the end of the day, if you're not doing truly what you want to do, whatever you put your effort into, whatever is the other thing that you put your effort to is not going to progress the way that it needs to progress because your determination is not there. Like my determination is my YouTube channel. I like posting videos on here. I like showing you guys, you know, my life and what I enjoy because I like watching other people. I like watching other people lives and getting to know people. And even though like they are strangers, I like being able to see the experiences and learn from the experiences that they are going through so that possibly I can implement that into my own life. Um, and, or I'll learn something new, you know, um, a, a different store to go to, or a different meal to cook, or a different exercise to do. Like, there is so many outside resources out there and everything, so why should I not 
accept those in? Why should I, like, those things bring me joy. You know, those things bring me happiness. So I think I, you know, ran up with that topic a little bit long. So let's go ahead and move on to the next topic. Making less plans and going with the flow. All right, so guys, I am a big advocate of everything has to be very structured. You can't deviate from that structure. And I just, sometimes... I feel like going also with the flow is being able to sit still. I always have a problem. My husband, he speaks about this of sitting still. I'm always planning time to, okay, this is allocated time to do this. This is allocated time to do that. I and mean, you're going to see later in my, in my information here that that is something that I wrote down that I do do. But I feel like there has to be a balance. Um, so like going back into my vision board, it's like I need to take opportunities to relax. I need to take opportunities to allocate time to talk to my therapist. I need to take, you know, opportunity to be with my husband. I need to also at the same time, let things flow and let things be. Like sometimes I'll, you know, think about like with my therapist, okay, try to predict what his topic is going to be. And, or I'm like, okay, I'm going to come into the conversation and I'm going to talk about this certain topic. Then I realized I talked about something totally separate than what I thought that I was going to talk about. So it's like me allowing myself to just be, just, just let things happen the way that it needs to happen and not always have control of the situation. The next one I have here is setting boundaries um, within my own self um, in regards to, and I'm sorry I keep saying um guys, it's just a tendency, but setting boundaries within my own self, workout, self-care, side hustle. I created a time period to get it done without it taking up my whole life. So this is kind of like in relation to going with the flow. I know it's kind of like the opposite of just, well, relation in regards to the opposite of what I just said. But I feel like that I have to set boundaries and boundaries doesn't necessarily mean like I talk about it through everything, through, like I said, my own life, my workout, my self-care and side hustle. I need to be able to leave moments open to do whatever else needs to get done it's okay for me to have a, a schedule and time periods allocated to do x y and z like for instance you're going to see in the video probably before this one is that i allocate time to work out in the morning i set boundaries and say you know what I'm not doing anything else. I'm not doing anything as far as cleaning the house. I'm not doing anything, whatever it may be. I I have a opportunity to take care of myself. So this time or this boundary or whatever it may be is going to be me focusing on working out. And then I get into the other, you know, avenues or whatever uh, things that I'm trying to accomplish in that particular day. I have to be able to allocate time for my workout because if I don't, then I'm not going to get it done. Like, as you guys know, I don't work out in the evening. It just doesn't work for me. I prefer working out in the morning. So that means getting up and, and doing what I have to do. Then I could go ahead and deal with the dog. But then I could pack my lunch and all the rest of the things. So, you know, you guys are going to see that in probably the video prior to this. But it's like... Also, at the same time, allowing myself to be able to just give to the things that I want to give to. But I don't want to get lost in the sauce. Like, I don't want to overwhelm myself so much. So, it's a balance between allowing things to go with the flow and setting boundaries at the same time. You know, it, it's... And this, I want to say, is one of the toughest things for me. And one of the things that I just continuously have to work on because I feel like it's not something that... It's something that I do without really knowing that I'm doing it. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get into the next topic um, or the next thing in 2023. And like I said, this encompasses everything 
on my vision board that I spoke about in 2022. And this is finding my identity. That is the next one. So I felt like in 2022, I was lost. Um, I had put out a series and I actually, I stopped the series halfway in because one, I was scared just to really let people in and be vulnerable and just the views that I had got on that video. I felt like it should have had more of an impact. But then later on, like recently, I realized, you know what? Even if 10 people watch the video, that means that you've impacted 10 people. So therefore, just because only a couple of people watch, you know, you have a breakdown doesn't necessarily mean that there's not people out there that may not be experiencing the same situation and you're helping them through the same situation. And that's the reason, part of the reason why I started my story time series is no matter about how many views that I get, I'm going to continue to sh to explain my story and show my story, even in my vlogs and my other type of videos, because I know that at the end of the day, I'm being able to help people. But finding my self just has been a challenge from 2022 to 2023. I was, you know, if you've watched the videos, you know that I have worked a job that was very stressful on me. And I felt like my whole being was into that. I felt like I lost myself, you know? So I was saying to myself from 2022 to 2023, that more so at the end of 2022, that when I created my vision board, I created my vision board with everything that I was trying to change about myself and saying, you know what, these are the things that I want to accomplish for myself. These are, you know, who I want to be. Let me lay them out, you know, let me create a, a, a space that I could go to, to continue to remind me of all the things that I'm trying to accomplish. And that means, you know, me trying to lose the weight or me actually losing the weight. And um, me actually finding a therapist. It was very tough for me to find a therapist. Me um, having more time for my husband. Me having more time for myself. Me, you know, reading the Bible. There was just, I lost myself. So like in 2023, I said to myself, Bia, you need to find yourself. You need to figure out who you are and bring back the elements in your life that brings you happiness. Like where you are prior, you're not happy. And that encompasses leaving my job and finding a new job. And that encompasses setting boundaries and and and, and making time for myself, you know, because I really didn't have any time for myself. Um, I stopped my business. I was doing a natural skincare business and I said to myself, I can't, it's not bringing me the joy that I want it to bring. What brings me joy is being able to put out the videos for you guys. So for right now, I'm going to put that on the back burner. It doesn't mean that I won't, you know, bring it back out or anything like that because it is something that I do like to do, but it's just not something I want to do at this particular part of my life. At this particular part of my life, this is what brings me happiness. So really finding my my identity, and I feel like I'm still trying to, not necessarily like I'm lost. I'm not lost anymore. I am like, I feel like 70% there. Like I'm a work in progress because there are times, you know, in this year where I was just, trying to figure out should i put a video out or not put a video out should i talk about this with my therapist or should i not should i tell my husband about this or should i not should i go to my mom and explain to her this situation that happened was a thing that really you know was a catalyst towards where i am right now um saving money do i save money or do i you know pay your bills like there's just a whole bunch of different things and it's it encompasses finding my identity and I and, it, and I, I guess in a way I don't know if it relates to it but I feel like these different avenues 
makes me feel more confused as Nabia. You know what I mean? And finding out who, what I want to do and how I want to represent myself. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> it probably doesn't. Um, but it makes sense to me. So, you know, it just is what it is. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So having confidence. So I spoke a little bit about this prior me having my scepter ring and showing my scepter ring. And also like having confidence in just how I walk out, you know, outside and how I represent myself to my husband and how I represent myself just in general to me. You know, I had this thought process of I just didn't feel good about myself, especially at my heavier weight. And I just was really in a sad place mentally physically and i was just like you know what i for me i need to do better so it's like okay i had to implement changing parts of my life so that i could be able to build my confidence up so as i continue to lose the weight and as i continue to open up my you know life for you guys and as i continue to have these conversations with my husband and all the other things that i have mentioned it's like, I feel like my confidence is way better than what it was in 2022 into 2023. And I'm not saying that I'm the, the most confident person. I'm not cocky or anything like that. But I feel like confidence is the important part because it it when you're confident, that means that you're able to see a goal i feel like if we if we were to think about goals you're able to see an opportunity and push for it because you feel good inside like when you don't feel good inside you're not necessarily feeling like you want to achieve anything you know what i mean so i do feel like that you have to work on your internal things that's going on in order to reach that part of confidence and I can say for me, like, I do feel better. I even said to my husband, like, in regards to clothes and everything, that, you know, has he noticed that I'm more, I show more of my body, I'm, I feel more sexy, I feel like that I am a better, you know, physically. I'm physically how I'm representing myself to the world that I do look better. And then I'm not doing it for just a backtrack. I'm not doing it for the accomplishment or the praise of somebody on the outside. Like if my husband praised me, awesome, great. Because I am for my husband. However, if outside people don't praise me, it's not going to, you know, make or break me. But at the end of the day, it's like when somebody does tell you, hey, you look beautiful or I love the way that outfit looks or I love your makeup or I love your hair. When you show up your best self and somebody else sees it and they say it, it's like, wow, thank you. Thank you for acknowledging, you know, the progress or for me, progress that I have made because I couldn't necessarily say last year that I felt that particular way, you know? So it, at the end of the day, it's a lot of self work. It's a lot of self improvement. Um, and I want to just say it takes time guys. It took me time to get to this, this point. It took me time to get to the point where I was before and it's taken me time to reverse that you know, those thoughts and those feelings and everything. So the next thing I have here is to make a space for my marriage. And this one is really important to me um, because, you know, I sat down and I talked to my husband the other day. And I'm not going to get too much in detail, but I think that we, when we're going through things, we never really realize how those things affect our partners. And, you know, one of the things I wrote down on my vision board is that I wanted to be able to travel with my husband in 2023. Now, we really wasn't able to do that as much. I don't think we really traveled this year, but it's okay. Because I feel like that 
Although we weren't able to travel, we worked on other parts of our marriage and finding out our identity for our marriage and who we were, you know. So we got married in 2020. And what they say is as newlyweds, sometimes it is very hard in the first couple of years of your marriage because you're trying to navigate with a person that you were never married to you really I guess you can say you kind of know what marriage is but the work and the effort that it takes to put in a marriage and the understanding it's a lot it's so many pieces I feel like that goes into marriage is not one particular thing and, and like one of the things is like I said I wanted to find space for my husband like, I feel like during 2022 and years before that, probably not when we lived in Brooklyn, but from the point of us moving from Brooklyn to uh, Jersey, with me losing myself, that affected my marriage. And um, luckily and thankfully, my husband, he is stayed, you know, during those those situations and I feel like this year we've been able to sit down with me not being so all over the place and me talking about how I feel I'm able to sit down with him and have more of those conversations and just really explaining to him what I'm going through and also at the same time hearing him out and at the same time implementing the things that I need to implement in order to make our marriage you know work out but just imagine if a person is not feeling good about themselves how does that affect your partner you know, that can affect them in regards to them not feeling good about themselves or them giving up on certain aspects of their life or them seeking, you know, joy, not necessarily with someone else, but an, an outside element where they're supposed to be seeking joy with you, but they're not getting it from you. So therefore they got to find it somewhere else. You know, like I said, there's so many factors that encompasses marriage. And I just want to, my thing this year was that I wanted to just do better in regards to making space for him and allowing him to also feel safe. You know, I think people, I mentioned this in my last video and, um, <laughs> and I'm just going to be honest with you because I, I looked at the video and there was one part that I did correct in my or change in my video and then when I thought about it I was like nah Bill, you were right and I talked about safety in my last video and feeling like um, I had a place to land when I was a child and I do feel like that and I'm trying to find the best words so that I don't offend anybody but I feel that the experience that I dealt with my childhood parts of it I did not feel safe because other people had to get involved and I f do feel like that maybe if things happen differently my outcome would have been a little bit different where I wouldn't feel so in not insecure, but so insecure is not the right word, but independent. I'm, I'm an extremely independent person and I've always felt like I had to do things on my own. I couldn't trust people because people are going to be people you know and it's due to the experiences that I dealt with in my childhood and things that I saw in my childhood like I, I it's always that joke and it's always that ha 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 like 
oh, therapist says, what, what, what are the things that, you know, happened in your childhood? Like, all the things that happened in your childhood is the reason why you turned out to be what you're being. And you're like, nah. You know, like, it can't be that. And why do they always relate everything to childhood? But honestly, a lot of it does. A lot of it stems from how you experience your youth. And growing up and the things that you that you did see really makes who you are as an adult. And as an adult, you have to be able to decipher out what you need to let go. Be honest with you. So, yeah. But I didn't mean to deviate to that, you know, topic. But I'm going to leave it in the video because I feel like maybe it touches somebody or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But we're going to leave it in the video. So, let's go ahead and talk about some of the goals that I didn't reach. And this is going to be very brief. And this is running a marathon and traveling. So, I already spoke about the traveling. I wasn't able to travel much this year, but it's okay because I've been able to have other experiences and I'm happy with that. And running a marathon. So, this year I realized that I'm doing a whole lot and trying to train for a marathon is a lot. And I think I was trying to do like a 5K or 3K. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, but I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to give it my all so therefore i was just like you know what we're going to just put that in the the bucket it's going to it's going to get done it's just not going to get done this year but it's going to get done in a future year and guys i do i don't have my ring on you know what i feel really weird not having my ring on so let me go get my ring all right guys i got my wedding band on i got dressed this morning I forgot to put it on because I was greasing my hands so now I got my wedding band on yeah I don't I don't go anywhere without my wedding band so but um running a marathon let me go ahead and get back into that so it didn't happen this year and it probably is not going to happen in 2024 <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you but I have accomplished you know losing the weight like part of running a marathon was or my goal for running the marathon was to push me to lose the weight but i've lost a reasonable amount of weight that me not running the marathon it's okay you know it's okay that i didn't get it done this year but i know that i would get it done in another year so we're just going to put that in the to be done box and it will get done later on so let's talk about 2024. All right. So 2024, I was really, you know, because my therapist kind of touched on this a little bit. Like, what is some of the things that, uh, what, what is one or two things that you want to see for yourself that you want to work on? And I was really contemplating, like really thinking hard about it and everything. And I've come to the realization that I want to, there's things I want to add for 2024, but I want to continue working on the things that I did in 2023. Because I feel that, one, it's a working progress and that I still have room to grow. I still have room to continue to be more confident. I still have room. I'm just right. Look at down here at all my things that I wrote down. I still have, you know, room to make sure that things meet my standards. I still have room to not allow um, outside noise to affect me, you know, because I did have an experience this past week where somebody had said something to me in regards to my YouTube channel. And you know, I was a little bit offended about it, but I said, that's outside noise, you know, pretty much that the lines was like, well, you're not making any money off of YouTube. So why are you doing it? And I'm like, I'm doing it because it brings me happiness. It brings me joy to be able to share my life with people. That is what YouTube is about. It's you sharing your life. So just because you're not making money from it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a horrible thing, you know, it'll come when it comes, you know what I mean? So we're just going to continue pressing on, but that's not my reason. So 
I had to just let go of what that person said to me and just be like, you know what, Bia, you know the reason why you post. So you just remember why you're doing it. So let's get into 2024 and just, I wanted to add two goals. And one of the goals is actually a repeat goal, but I feel like I didn't do so well at it in 2023. And that is being more thankful and praying more. So I feel like I haven't given God enough thanks and appreciation for all the things that he has given to me in 2023 or 2022 into 2023. I feel like I lost sight of that. My thing was like, I need to pray every day. And I have not prayed every day, you know? And I'm not saying, oh God, if you don't pray any, every day, God is gonna take everything away from you. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying for me, I find peace in my mind to be able to, or at least when I was really going through the struggle, I guess you can say, I find peace in my mind being able to talk to God and saying, thank you for getting me through the next day, you know, um, continue to work on me so that I could be a better human being. But I haven't been coming to him to say thank you. I haven't been, um, I, I guess you could say I have been appreciative. You know, I say it here and there, but there's nothing wrong with getting down on your knees and saying, God, thank you. And praying. So we're going to work on that in 2024. And then my next goal is financial goals. So my next goal is to save $1,000 um, for 2024 or 2023, 2024. I've already started this goal. Um, however, what I do have to do is sit down and make like a budget tracker. So I know exactly what I am doing. And I'm going to be working on that soon and everything. Let me know if you are interested in seeing that. It's just pretty much like an Excel sheet. And I just put in there every, you know, pay period and what I'm trying to save for that pay period. And typically, it's the same amount of money. But I have, like, multiple types of, like, savings. I have, you know, the IUL which some people feel some way about, but I do I have an IUL. Then I have, you know, my actual savings account. I have an investment account. I have a CD that's not really making any money. So I, I believe I'm this year or um, I had three CDs, two of them actually matured. And I have a third one that matures in December. So I'm going to take that money and I'm going to put that money into my savings at this point, that's what I think I'm going to do, but that may change later down the road. I'm always trying to, like, I do not want to work forever, and I do want to retire early, so therefore, I'm just trying to find avenues and ways in order to do that, you know, because I don't want to work for my entire life. I just don't want to do that, um, but guys, that is the video. I hope that you know, you guys have enjoyed this video and my look back from 2022 to 2023, now going into 2024. And I hope that maybe some part of this video, you had an aha moment for yourself and I helped you in some possible way and everything. Um, if you do have any questions for me, as I always mention, guys, you can always post your, your comments or questions down below. I typically do not, just to let you guys know, do not respond like right away. Like I normally um, respond on the weekends um, because I'm able to sit down at the laptop and actually dedicate time in writing out a thorough comment back to you. I just don't want to write back, okay, or thank you, or whatever. Like, I want to really engage with you guys. So, I tend to do that on the weekends when I have the opportunity to sit down and do that without distraction and everything. So, um, if you do not get a reply back right away, I am going to reply. I just haven't gotten to it yet. But guys, if you have enjoyed this video, I appreciate that you give the the, the uh, see already tongue tied. If you have enjoyed this video, I appreciate that you give this video a thumbs up. You subscribe. You hit the notification button. You hit the share button, guys. As I mentioned, 
my channel is not able to grow without the support of you guys so i need you guys to support me by doing all the things that i just mentioned all right guys stay blessed out there make sure you treat each other kindly out there in those streets and everything we're going into the new year make sure you have the protection of you know god and every support system around you and you ask god to protect you you ask god to protect them and everything and um just really try to i guess to end this video try to enjoy parts of life like actually i have wrote a quote down here before we go ahead in this video this video is going to be a little bit long so it's going to be what it be but i want to end it off by saying um life is what you create guys so just understand that this is your life and you can navigate it any way that you want to go so therefore just do what you got to do whatever in life that you are trying to do you are the master of your life so just do it guys and i'm excited to you know if you were to share your your um outcome with me or where you started and where you you know ended or you need help or you just want to talk hopefully you know you post your comments and or you'll reach out to me because i look forward to just seeing so many successes for people it's such a beautiful thing to look at um people sorry i'm just checking my ring it's so beautiful to look at people that i admire and people that i respect and see them win i'm not one of those people where i look at you and i'm like oh you won it no i love seeing people win it's such a beautiful thing and it gives me such joy you know and it makes me want to push harder so yeah all right guys i will talk to you in another video now we are done ranting <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.